Hello and welcome to Quick Tips. So in this video, we will see how to easily edit a WooCommerce products in a single dashboard. Let's say this is a product and you want to edit the price of this product. Right now, the price is $299. If you want to change it, you need to go to edit section of this product. Then look for the pricing of this product. And then you can change the pricing from here. Now, if you want to edit many products at the same time, then you will need to go to each product one by one and you need to edit those products manually one by one. Now, here we are going to install a free plugin to bulk edit the WooCommerce products. So here is the dashboard. From here, you can change all the settings of the product in a single dashboard. This is an example of the product. Here is the name of the product. If you want to change, you can change it from here. This is the content of the product. You can change the content directly from here. Okay, now you can see the price. Let's say you want to change the price. You can simply change the price, enter and the price is changed. This, this is the sale price. Let's change the sale price to 250. Enter and it is changed. So you can see that it is very easy to manage all the products in a single dashboard. So from this single dashboard, you can edit multiple products at the same time. So you don't need to go inside the product and then change the product settings one by one. So let's see how does this work. So let's start with the installation of the free plugin first. I'm already logged into the dashboard of the WordPress website. Now let's go to the plugins and go to add new. Now look for the plugin called as WOOBE. That will be WooCommerce Bulk Editor. So this is the plugin that we are going to install. It's a free plugin. So click on install now. Click on activate. All right now under product, you will see the option beer bulk editor. So click on it. Now here you will see all the products listed and you can edit these products easily from this dashboard. Here you can see you can minimize this one and you will see the WordPress dashboard you can also sort them by title by ID or by regular price sale price these are the filtration options now here you will see the first product this is the thumbnail this is the content short description what is the type of the product this one is simple product it is published this is the price this is the sale price if you want to manage stock you can manage it from here and now it shows whether it is in stock or not gallery images downloadable whether the product is downloadable what is the category of this product so these are the options you will see here now if you want to change it you can simply click on it and let's add let's say new and enter and you will see that the product name has been changed here if you click on content so you will see the current content on this product. So this is a dummy website that I'm working on. Now I have added the new content, click on apply. And the content will be edited from directly from here. So you don't need to go to the product and you don't need to edit the product itself. You can edit it from here. Short description, click apply. Now here, if you want to change the type of the product, you can change from here also. Published. If you want to change to private or draft, this is the price, the regular price. This is the sale price. If you want to change, let's first see the product. Let's click on this and it will open in the new window. So this is the current product. You will see this added text here that we just updated. Okay, now let's change the price to let's say 900 for the sale price. Okay, now let's refresh it. Now here you will see the changes that we just made. If you want to change the category, you can change the category from here also. Let's first go for the settings of this plugin. Here you will see the settings, click on settings. Now these are the columns which are added in the dashboard. Here you will see 
visible for the shop manager. This is for the premium version of this plugin. Let's say if you want to disable any one of them, you can simply click on this and it will not show. Let's say stock quantity, manage stock. If you don't want to show SKU, you can simply disable it. And after that, you can save all the settings. Now the default product count will be 10. So only 10 products will be shown on this dashboard for the edit. Now here you will see that the the column that we disabled are not here. The SKU column and the downloadable column. Those columns are gone. Let's go back to settings again. Now here you will see these are the premium version features. Now this is meta fields. If you want to edit meta fields, you can edit meta fields also. History while editing, if you make any mistake, you can simply revert the changes. Here you will see the latest changes that you made to the products. If you do not want to show those changes, you can revert the changes. Let's say we are going to revert the sale price. Okay, now let's refresh it. We change the sale price. And you will see that the change has been reverted. All right, now let's go back to product editor. Now let's look for the variable product. Here you will see option variations. You can click on it. You can enable the variations and after that we will see variables also. Now this is one of the variable product and these are the variations. If you want to change the price of the variables products, you can change from here. You cannot change the price directly to the variable product. These are the prices for the variables that you can change. Let's say if you want to change 250, And let's change this one to two to five. So this is how you can make changes to variable products also. Now you can see that this is a composite product. So you cannot change the regular price or the sale price on the composite product. Actually, this is kind of bundle of different products. So you cannot fix any regular price to this composite product. Same goes with the main variable product or uh, you can say accommodation bookings product or the subscription product because the customer is going to change the booking the number of days for the booking or the number of hours for the booking so we cannot fix those pricing okay so the pricing on the special products cannot be edited from here all right now if you want to edit bulk products you can simply select these three products let's say if you want to delete these three products then you can simply select these three products and after that you can delete them from here so all the three products will be deleted at the same time now there are some limitations to the free version now we are going to install the premium version of this plugin first go to the plugins and delete the free version i have already downloaded the premium version of this plugin so i'm going to delete this free version plugin now let's go to add new click on upload and I'm going to upload the premium version plugin. Install now. Activate. All right, so we have got the premium version plugin. Now let's go to the products. So all the products are here. Now under products, you will see bear bulk editor. Let's open it. Now we have got the premium version plugin. So you will see some difference. Okay, now let's go to settings. Now here you can change the number of products to be shown. So let's change it to, let's say 40. Okay, so it will show 40 products on the dashboard. And you can see all the premium features are available. Okay, let's save all the settings. All right, so currently we have 37 products and you will see all the products are listed here okay so from here you can change the pricing and you can change everything from this dashboard of the bulk product editor let's see if you want to add images to the gallery you can click on it 
and from here you can select the images add images and either you can upload new images or you can select from the media library so this is how you can add gallery to the product directly from the dashboard from this dashboard so you do not need to go to the product and go to each product like this and go to settings so you do not need to go to each product and go to edit settings of this product go here change inventory the short description image categories you don't need to go there you can make all the changes from this dashboard only so that's it for now see you in the next video thank you for watching quick tips do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools if you have any questions please leave us message in comment section and press the like button if you like the video thanks for watching quick tips